Hi, welcome to Driver Training. In today's video, we're following the signs and markings for Bridge North and B4380. And you'll need this for both your normal driving test or if you're taking an ADI Part 2 test in Shrewsbury. Now, as you head down towards the dual carriageway, we would suggest that this point as the lanes widen, getting into the right-hand lane, and I'll explain why in a second. So once we're in the right-hand lane, we're following the lane down, and what we want to do is look at the board on the left, just to tell us where we're now going. As we look at the board, we can see the bridge north is straight ahead. The road markings confirm straight ahead is right hand lane and the board at the side tells us the same. Now the trouble is, if we leave it till this point to try and move over, nine times out of ten you'll find yourself blocked in by cars or lorries so it's much better to get into the right hand lane when it opens up rather than risk being trapped in that left lane and not being able to move across. As we come up to the traffic lights, choice of two lanes, we always use the left lane, anything that wants to go faster than can. Now we need to follow our lane round. So we imagine our curb carrying on and we can see we're heading across towards that left curb and that's going to keep us in our lane and in position. As we come round by doing this we're not crossing that centre white line and risking failing because of it. We remember this road now as a dual carriageway is 70 and when it's safe to, we want to get back into the left hand lane. As we head down, we're looking at the board on the left for Bridge North and B4380, which we can see is after 12 o'clock. So we know already at this point, we're going to need the right hand lane. We're looking at the second green sign on the left and that confirms B4380 is indeed the right hand lane. Looking at the road in front we have left lane, middle lane and right lane. So we go across into the right hand lane. The green board on the right now says this lane actually splits into two but we can see the B4380 is the left of these two lanes. Looking at the road markings, the left one is indeed B4380. Again, we're close to the left curb, so we want to keep it close all the way around and not cross that centre white line. So we use that same principle. Imagine those two curbs on the left connecting. We can see the white line, so if we stay in between both, we're heading towards the traffic light and the bollards. We remember those two curbs connecting. We don't cross that white line. And again, it confirms we're heading towards the bollards in the middle. And that will keep us in our lane. The road marking confirms it is B4380. And 
Now at this gap, we're gonna use that same principle. Imagine those two curbs connecting. Don't cross the white line, and just stay in the middle of both which again is gonna head us towards that yellow bollard in the middle and the left curve. So if we follow both round, we know for a fact it's gonna guide us into our lane and the markings again confirm that. Coming up now, we know this is exit number three, but again, same principle. Imagine that curb on the left just carrying on not crossing the centre white line, keeping in the middle of both, and it's gonna take us to our third exit. At this point, we can look at the sign on the right, and it tells us Bridge North B4380 is indeed this one. So we hope this has helped you understand it more clearly. Please like, share and subscribe our channel for more great hints and tips. My name's Chris, thanks for joining us. Drive safe and we'll see you all soon.